How do smart people learn very hard things like mathematics, computer science, physics, engineering? And what does it mean to be smart? There are different types of intelligence. Some people might be naturally good at a certain thing. And some people might not so be naturally good at that thing. So it's hard to measure intelligence. I'm not gonna give you a list of tips in this video. Instead, I'm gonna give you real stories of people that I have known that have been incredibly gifted so you can see what these people were like and what qualities they had that made them special, that made them different, that made them smarter than everyone else, that made them more successful in their respective subjects than everyone else. What made these people so good at mathematics, so good at computer science, at physics, and at engineering? Because I think that perhaps that's a better way to analyze how smart people learn hard things because there's just different types of intel, there's different behaviors, there's different things they do. When I was in grad school for mathematics, I had a friend and he would always come to class early. He would always raise his hand and answer all the questions. And I think other people thought he was annoying. You know, he'd raise his hand, oh, one over X. And a lot of times when he answered, I was completely in the dark. And then one day I was in the library, the mathematics library, and I saw him. And I asked him if he had done his homework and he said, no, I said, hey, you wanna to study together? You wanna to do homework together? And it was the first time in my life that I sat down with a person to do mathematics and that person was faster than me. We, we both started doing homework on the first exercise. This guy was on number seven when I was on like number two, after like, you know, 20, 30 minutes. And I was blown away. I thought, wow, wow, this guy is faster at mathematics than I am. And he's better than I am. And I wasn't tired, my mind was fresh. I felt like I was on and doing well, but this guy was faster and better. When we got the first test back, he had the highest grade in the class. I think he was the only person who got an A without the curve. So this guy was always on. One time we were studying a different subject and we were in the grad student lounge and me and a couple of friends were there working on the board on some more advanced ring theory. And here, here comes in this guy. He goes, oh, what are you all working on? And he's like, oh, what's a ring, he says. He didn't know what a ring was, or at least he pretended not to know. And my friend explained it. I said, oh, what about this? And he just kind of gave us some great insight into the problem. You know, another time we were working on an analysis problem, and this guy just walks in and draws a little graph and just comes up with a solution. So he just seemed undeniably brilliant. But what made him so good was that he was always on top of things. He was always done before the rest of us. He made sure to get stuff done early. You know, the homework would be assigned on a Monday. By Wednesday, he would be done. Most of us would still be working on it the next week. He would prioritize his mathematics. He put that above everything. And so he always seemed calm, cool, collected because he got his work done quick. And I think besides having, you know, a lot of natural intelligence, that's what made this guy so smart. That's what made him so good, is that he made sure to get it done ASAP. He got it done quick. He got it done fast. He was always early in class. He did not put it off, you know? I, I don't even think he watched TV. This guy made mathematics his priority. He, he prioritized getting it done, getting it done. So get it done. If you're studying mathematics, get it done. Get the homework done before it's due. So you have time to go back and review for the test and, and be awesome like this guy.
This guy was a legend. And in my opinion, he's probably the smartest person I've ever met. You know, the raw combination of talent and getting things done is just incredible. Incredible. For computer science, I had a friend who was studying computer science in college. He was a very good friend, a very close friend. And we met on the internet, IRC, Internet Relay Chat. And he was an old school, self-taught coder, young kid, you know, nerd, little guy, skinny, short, typical, stereotypical nerd. And he went to college. And he went to college after I did. And I tried to like encourage him to go and mentor him and all that. And the interesting thing about this guy is that his grades weren't very good. And I was constantly giving him a hard time about that. You know, he was getting C's and B's and barely making it. He barely made it to discrete mathematics. He hated it. And I kept thinking, this guy is not gonna get a good job. He's not gonna have a good life. He's not gonna make it. And the reason this guy was doing bad in school, right, this is a video about smart people. So what makes him smart is because he had a job where he was doing some pretty intense coding. He was making about $10 an hour, which at the time was actually quite high for what he was doing. He was working for a company doing some, some heavy duty programming. And I think he was using more than one language. And he was working at least 40 hours a week, <clears throat> at least. And the reason he was doing this is because he was poor. He, he didn't have the money to pay for his education and his parents made just a little bit too much money for him to qualify for federal aid. So he had to work and go to school. And I thought he, he should quit his job and take out loans and go to college like I did. But he refused, he refused. He said he had to work to pay for everything. And so he kept working. He barely made it through his computer science degree. And today he's extremely wealthy. Right out the door, he got a job making like 80,000. And then after that, he moved up north somewhere for a job making like 120. I don't know where he is today. He's probably making north of 200 grand. The guy was brilliant. Why? Because he focused on what he wanted to do when he was done. He focused on learning the skills he needed for the job. That's why he made so much money right out the door because he was an expert programmer. He spent all four years in college coding like crazy. Yes, he didn't get good grades, but he had the skills that the job required. And it's kind of funny because I don't know if that's why he did it. I know he did it because he needed money, but he became very good at programming. Very, very good. He gained a lot of experience on the job. And when he was done, he was super successful. So he learned computer science by doing, by jumping in, by actually working in the workforce while he was in college. And I'm not saying you should do that. It's just his story and it's an interesting one and I wanted to share it. Very, very different. For physics, I had a friend who, this guy was older. He was older than everyone else, older than me. He was like the older guy in class. Quiet, tough guy. And he would always get a perfect score on every test, every single test, every single physics class. I took three physics classes with this guy. No, two, two, two physics classes, the first two. And this guy would get the top score every time. Other people sometimes got the top score, but this guy would get it every time. And the way he did it, I think, was by reading. This guy was always reading. He was always reading books. We were talking to him one day. He said he read the entire chapter more than once. He would not only do all the homework, but he would read the physics books, reading. You know, a lot of times people watch videos to learn stuff, which, which is fine, but you get something from reading. There's something about reading a physics book and, and sitting out reading a math book that brings great knowledge to your mind. And I think this guy just had an unbreakable will because he felt he was older, because he was, he was much older than the rest of us. You know, he was the older guy. And he, I guess he felt it was his only shot and this was it. I thought I was older, I was in my 20s. This guy must have been, I, I don't know, much older. But reading is what did it for him, reading. And as for engineering, you know, I had a friend from India who, I mean, this guy, 
I can't even describe the level of work ethic that this guy had. You know, he, he would finish the homework, you know, because in engineering classes, they have projects and they have homework they have to turn in. And sometimes the professors are really picky. Like one time um, I was in a physics class, but my professor had an engineering background and I stapled the paper wrong and he made me take out the staple and restaple it. So engineering classes can be very, very picky on how your work is presented. So this guy would perfect all of his work. You know, he would go through all of his homework and he'd write it up more than once. I mean, just an incredible amount of work. He was a perfectionist and he would just work nonstop. And I think that's what would separate him from other people. Just an incredible, I mean, I've never seen anyone work like that. He worked harder than all of the people I talked about. And today he works for a power company. He's an electrical engineer. So smart people learning hard things, they all have different qualities. They all take different approaches. I think the computer science story is an interesting one because this is a guy who focused on the actual coding and not, not the grades, which I'm not saying you should do. It's just an example. It's a real life example of someone who became very successful in their field and made an incredible amount of money and learned an incredible amount of knowledge. So what's the best way for you to learn something hard? Well, the truth is, I don't know. You know, work hard, just like my engineering friend. Read, just like the physics guy. Always be on top of things like the math guy, right? Always be ahead. And if you're going into a field like, you know, engineering or computer science, especially computer science, you know, be like the guy who learned to code on his own, right? Get some experience in your field. And I think those things will help you succeed in life and you'll, they'll help you find a job and have a better life, you know? Because at the end of the day, you know, one of the reasons people learn hard things is that so they can get a job and, and have good lives. Anyways, that's it. If you want to learn math, check out my math courses. Links in the description. Check out my books. Links in the description. Uh, I think that's it. Take care. Stay strong.